I think enough is enough and I think we need to show our strength of feeling that over the years that we've been listened to and ignored and in fact actually in previous years when our, head, when our teachers have had pay increases, head teachers haven't even had one. So I think it's enough and enough, you know, we are a professional body and we need to be treated as such. I think it's so important that everyone's voice is heard, that everyone gets the opportunity to say what they think. As leaders, we're dealing with other union strikes, we're dealing with the parental pressures, the government pressures, governors' pressures. So it's important that as union members of school leadership, we have the chance to have our voices heard. Well, members have been really clear they want you to ballot. The sense of anger and frustration about funding, about Ofsted, about accountability, about the lack of support from government over the last 10 years is huge. So you've got a clear mandate from your members to ballot because they're angry and they want to do something about it. Well, it's, it's extremely important that they ballot the members because everybody needs to have their say and we need to take action and we need to um, ensure that, you know, for the, for the future of the education of our children, that, that everything is funded fairly and they get the pay and the reward that they deserve. Um, I think it's one of the crucial things now. I think funding for schools is critical. Uh, we're at a stage now where we absolutely need to have support from everybody and you know, we need our government to support us and support our schools and support our children. I think as one of the speakers said earlier, we've always been expected to just be quiet and professional and do our jobs and it's time we stood up for ourselves and for our children and, and showed a united voice and took the action that we need to take to fully fund schools and retain and recruit good quality staff.